Hey guys, my name is Nestel, and this is not my first video that I've posted up on Mr. X Factor Gaming Community site. Um, a few months ago, I used to be relatively active on the site and putting up videos, uh, but recently, during that, after that time, I uh, took a step back from making videos for about a couple of months, and I'll get into that in a little bit later. Um, but this is not really an introduction video, this is more as a reintroduction video. So let me reintroduce myself. Like I said, my name is Nestel. I just turned 30 this past August, so I'm kind of sort of that whole woody thing, you know, older, playing. I'm not as old as him, but I'm playing a video games at an older age, and a lot of my friends are older, you know, in their late 20s, and it's interestingly enough that we have seen a lot more older guys our age or even older starting to get into video games, and that's encouraging to see, at least for me. Uh, this doesn't make me feel weird, <laughs> but still playing video games at, a, at, a, at a, the age of 30. However, let me move on from that. On top of me being 30, I was also in the military for four years. I was in the Marine Corps, and I also spent um, 14 months, two tours in Iraq. And I have a lot of uh, cool little stories to tell about that, and I don't want to, you know, take away from the, the series of videos that I did. If you're interested in hearing a lot of those stories and hear, interesting he to hear about boot camp, check out my page under the favorite section, and I have... have four videos of a series of videos that I did uh, talking about my experience in the military go all the way from boot camp to Iraq and my last video is about my thoughts on the military so that is where that stands um, now what are you guys going to expect from me I am by no stretch of the imagination God on the sticks first person shooter player I go positive more times than not obviously I, I, my KD, if everybody wants to know everybody's KD, I'll tell you my KD. Last time I checked was about two or three days ago, and I'm sure it hasn't much changed much if it has, is 1.33. Uh, I, I consider that average. Uh, it's neither, you know, awesome or anything like that, but it's not bad. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, average slightly above whatever you guys want to classify that. So what you, you guys are going to expect from me is... Um, educational videos and entertaining videos. What I mean by education, I mean, you know, I'm going to try to explain situations to you or that happened to me in this game that, that worked out for me or I found that didn't work, and I'll try to pass that kind of knowledge and information on to you guys. Also, too, with the military aspect, I've used many of these weapon systems that we use in our game. And obviously, it's not 100% like that. But the, my military training that I got, I can I, I find, and I'll explain to that in late, maybe in a later videos, uh, um, I find that even with those military training so long ago, I can use some of that information, that, that knowledge, and apply it to this game. These games, I should say. Battlefield, this game, the new games coming out, um, all the other first-person shooters that we've all played you know, throughout the years. The same information applies. And like I said, I'll pass that kind of information on to you guys. So that's what you're going to expect from my videos. Um, I'm also considering doing, if, if, if you know, the boss uh, allows me to, uh, possibly doing a Let's Play series on um, Silent Hill, the first game. I, got, I downloaded that game from the PSN network, and I want to play it, and I want to start recording video on that. Um, so look forward to those things. So let me move on to other things here. Let me talk a little bit about my military experience and things like that. So like I said, I was, I was in the military for four years. Um, during 2003 to 2007, active duty, and um, I've used a lot of the, the weapon systems that we use in our games. And interestingly enough, like I said, uh, it's fun to use them again. Um, it's obviously not perfect or anything like that, but it's pretty cool to, to say, you know what, I used that weapon, you know, not so long ago. Uh, weapons I've used is, of course, the M16 in this weapon, in this game, the only the M16 that we have in this game is the A1, which is the first weapon in the series. Uh, and it wasn't very good. People really, really did not like that weapon. Jammed a lot. Um, uh, couldn't handle getting wet or, or mud or sand. Honestly, things haven't really improved too much about it, at least in that aspect. But it is a hell of an accurate, accurate weapon, and um, it was a lot of fun to, 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 to shoot. Now, I use the A3 and the A4 models of the, of the in the series. Basically, the difference between those two weapons is the rail system. In the A4 uh, version, there is a rail system on, on the handguards and on the handle receiver, above the receiver, where the sights are. That allows you to put things on it easier. Uh, the ACOG can go on there. 
um, the grip that you'll use on your AK-74U, that can go on that rail system. A surefire flashlight can go on there. All sorts of things. Night vision, um, laser guy. You know the laser thing. If you guys remember playing Medal of Honor, the new one, um, when you're in the dark and you had your MVGs or your night goggles on, you had that stream of green um, uh, laser dot. That that thing. We actually used that. I've used that before. It was kind of fun, kind of cool to use it. So I've used things like that. I've used the M4. Um, which isn't obviously in this game, but it's in um, Monofier, uh, Modern Warfare 2. I think it's going to be in the next game. I haven't checked. I haven't seen what the weapons are yet. Hope it's there. That weapon was a lot of fun to use, and it was actually kind of neat to use that weapon um, because it really applied for us truck drivers. I didn't get to have it too much when I was in stationed in Iraq uh, because they were just starting to incorporate that weapon to the mass population of troops being sent over there. Uh, but late in later deployments that my friends went on, they said that they were exclusively issued their M4s because it's smaller. You can put it in trucks and, and maneuver it a lot easier uh, you can in vehicles than you can with an M16. I've used weapons like the SAW, Squad Automatic Weapon. Um, you'll know it as the M249. Um, I've used that weapon. That is a lot of fun to use. I really did enjoy that weapon. I've used the Mod Deuce 50 Cal, which is the, my weapon of choice when I was in, the, in Iraq. Now, you've, I think you've seen that weapon um, in Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the tanks. The, when you get into it, one of those tanks and you get on the machine guns, that machine gun is the Mod Deuce. doesn't really sound like it, at least from what I remember, but from looking at it on the outside, because you can go through a third-person view in Battlefield, it's, it's the Mod Deuce. I've used things also like the M249 uh, or M, uh, M240 Golf which is pretty much an updated version, lack of a better way to describe it, of the old M60. Um, M60 was phased out of the military during the 80s, I believe it was, and it was replaced by the 240 series. I used the Golf version in that series, which was pretty much designed to be on, on uh, vehicles, mounted vehicles. I've used also the M9. Um, this game does not have the M9, it is in Battlefield. Um, during this time, though, they had the M16, or the, uh, not the M16, but the um, 1911 45 caliber pistol. Uh, military, um, interestingly enough, decided to phase out of that weapon and get, go with the M9 because of uh, the, the, the rate of fire that the M9 could produce, uh, punch out, versus the 1911. 1911 was a much more powerful weapon and a much more better weapon in my mind than the M9. But the M9 could put more rounds down range at a, faster than what the uh, 1911 could. So they started to phase that out. Now, interestingly enough, like now, still some units use it, special uh, ops units. And I've heard from people uh, that tr that some people want to re reintegrate that weapon again. They want to put that weapon back into the mass population of, of our troops. So that's kind of interesting. Nice little double spray. Should have been a triple, but what are you going to do? Um, so those are the kind of weapons that I've used. Uh, I'll try to think of some more that I've used, and I'll come up with some more stories and things like that. Like I said, I got some things that I can pass knowledge from my military days and pass on to you guys um, during later videos, and I'll try to do that. So, uh, you know, I'm glad to be back with the community. I'm glad um, that the community is doing very, very well. I congratulate and celebrate uh, Mr. X Factor Gaming community for that, and I, I can, you know, hope for its continued growth. And I understand that the Machinima is now, they're now a... Uh, a partner with Machin Machinima, and congratulations with that. I hope to see you guys soon, and uh, check out my page for more details or check out the series, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.